So it's Christian versus Rock for the WC t- WCW title. Booker T makes himself guest ring announcer and Shane the guest timekeeper, and they're interfering constantly. They, of course, had a good match, but there was not nearly as much heat as you would think. I think it's because well, it was Toronto, because they were in Christian's hometown. Yes, right. Like, and they, they wanted to cheer for Christian, or excuse me, they wanted to cheer for The Rock, but they did not want to boo Christian. Well, it's not even so much of that, but like when you're in a live event and a guy from your hometown is there, mm-hmm. and he could, and you could see with your own eyes a championship change. You know, back when these titles meant more than you know when Miz won it, right. That's why they wanted Christian to win. They wanted to see Christian get the world title in his own hometown in front of their own eyes. I mean, they didn't boo The Rock, but they did cheer for Christian. It was not the usual Rock reaction. It was a good match. Yes. And in the end... They did boo Rock when he used the sharpshooter. uh, Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think they thought he was mocking, although he has used that move countless times. By the way, I'm... Made my son watch Dark Side of the Ring this week with the Montreal Screwjob. It's the first time he'd ever seen it or heard of it because he's 14. Did he care at all? Yes, he was enthralled. Wow. Hmm. He loved it. It seems so, so preposterous nowadays. I know, right? It, it, the, whole, the whole thing. When you go back and watch it now, it's the, it's the most childish bag of crap. <laughs> you know what they did with Miz? Anyway. You know what they did with Miz on Raw this week? Two weeks after he won the World Championship. Uh, he's having a match with a rapper. They put him, they put, they in, a put him in a bunny suit. bunny suit and had him hopping. I saw that clip and I so thought to myself, no, was this I could man not the take... champion of the earth a week and a yes, half ago or something? Yes, makes it very hard to take this wrestling with shadows seriously. Hmm. It does, it does. Anyway, Christian box into Booker. Rock wins the rock bottom. And Shane and Booker go to attack Rock, but the APA chases them away. He started talking about, is it Bet Kings? I don't know. But they started uh, talking about some... Uh, There's DraftKings. DraftKings. Compulsive gamblers. They had some things to say here. There were only a few guys in the cage at the time, and they were down. So he escaped his pod early to take a gamble that he might be able to eliminate one of them. Which, by the way, did not pay off. Before but I was know. told, wait, Brian. It doesn't matter if the gamble pays off or not. I said, what? You're telling me that if you have a net worth of $500,000 and you see that it's the Seattle Seahawks against the Portland Trailblazers or whatever the Super Bowl might be and you bet on the Seahawks somehow the Trailblazers win okay and you lose $500,000 okay you're broke but you're telling me that you can go to your fucking wife and say yes dear That's how professional gambling works. Do you know what your wife will say to you? She'll say, fuck you. We're divorced. (laughs) You compulsive gamblers. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.